RJ Escow wrote an excellent blog for Our Future, and in the blog he talks about these payday loan scams, right? And what he mentions is something that most people don't know. Most of these fringe banks are financed through Wall Street and big banks, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why they do that is because it's a good way to give out these shady loans without looking bad. Mm -hmm. Because these loans are given through these fringe banks that are usually nameless. Yes. Okay? So um, the reason why this is so interesting is because RJ points out that these payday loans exploit minority groups namely uh, Hispanics and blacks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, to, to give you a sense of some of the numbers, so, for example, one of the groups that's doing this is called Advance America. So they're one of these payday uh, companies. Uh, but in order to get started, they got 40 to $50 million in credit. Where did they get that from? Turns out they got it from Bank of America. Now, Advance America, along with other payday uh, folks, are uh, up to shady business. For example, uh, they charge, uh, on average, an interest rate of up to 450%. Okay, now that's loan shark. Okay? That's insanity. Okay, there are usury laws against that in many states, including North Carolina. In fact, North Carolina tried to shut down these payday lenders. because they're, And what they do is, in the beginning, for the first paycheck, they say, oh, half off. It's like a drug dealer, you right. know? Oh, then they get you hooked, and then... The, all, then you have to pay them back uh, with your, the next time your paycheck comes in, right? Because it's payday. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you don't have any more money. So then you need to get another loan from them. And then that also is a 450% right. rate, et cetera. And it's a vicious cycle because mm -hmm. you go into debt by getting these payday loans because the interest rate is so insanely high. Right. Now, when it comes to how they exploit um, minority groups, what's interesting is um, there was a study done by the Center for Responsible Lending and what this study found is that there are three times as many payday loan locations in black neighborhoods versus white neighborhoods. Right. Now, they say, what are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm trying to help out African Americans, right? I'm providing this service for them where I'm basically their loan shark. The mob used to run this racket, literally, right? Now, the thing is, uh, this is there, there's an extra irony to this. The, the, part of the reason this exists is because in the old days, uh, the banks, and which was not that old, by the way, it happened until very recently, they would redline African-American parts of town, right? Mm -hmm. And that was called redlining. And what that was is they said, oh, we don't give out loans to those folks. Okay, they're, they're risky. We don't give them loans, right? Now, it's hard to own a house or it's hard to own a car if you don't get a loan, right? Right. Because how, where are you going to find the money to pay up front? That's much harder, right? And if you don't have a car, for example, it's harder to go get a job and then it becomes a vicious cycle, et cetera, right? So the banks then got wise once the government said, hey, no, you can't redline districts. And they're like, yes, thank you. What were we thinking? No, better to suck the money out of there, okay? Right. By tricking them into 450% interest rates since they have no other options. Like if you're in a white part of town, right? And now we're talking generally, but you see the numbers back it up, right? Mm -hmm. You can go get a loan, and, you, and your loan doesn't even cost as much. They charge higher interest rates in some of the red line districts, mm -hmm. right? And if, you, if you're in a red line district, well, you don't have any choice. It did, that infrastructure didn't exist in the first place, so you go to a payday guy. You get sucked in, and you can't get back out, okay? And that's how this scam is run. Now, Bank of America doesn't want their name on that scam, right. but they want to make money off of it, so they funnel the money through these other payday companies. And that's how Wall Street continues to get richer and richer, and you continue to get rooked while other people look, while people look the other way.